Hello, you are watching Case in Use and a profit is working in the studio. Today in the release. Kind market map. Interest of governments to crypto and blockchain. Earn while spending. Digital financing startups. Crypto in every bit of real life. How the sunlight and Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter's books are related. More information about this and other news in seconds. The theme of US government auction continues. A known bidder bought 2,700 bitcoins at an auction held by the US Marshal Service. The worth of the lot was 1,580,000 US dollars. In total, only five registered bidders sought to claim the 2,700 bitcoin block. According to thekindesk.com, the turnout was lower than observed in the most recent US MS auction, which took place last November. In that event, 44,000 bitcoins, worth over $14 million, was auctioned to 11 bidders. Crypto expansion is working on all around the globe. The United Kingdom Financial Conduct Authority considers bringing blockchain startups to the country. The UK FCA is considering the approval of 40 startups that use blockchain technology within the fintech industry, according to the news.bitcoin.com. Christopher Wooler, the FCA's Director of Strategy and Competition, said, We go think blockchain has got some potentially interesting applications. There may be areas where we might want to encourage it a bit. Japan, 15 banks united in a blockchain consortium, network of which is working in the Ripple technology. Consortium of 15 Japanese banks will work in a network based on Ripple's technology for payments and settlement, which will enable round-the-clock settlement at a significant savings to banks and consumers. This setup makes fees for banks about 90% less. According to the Ripple.com, 15 inaugural members will increase the size of the consortium to 30 banks and that the new service will go live in spring of 2017. Republic of South Africa Central Bank is open to cryptocurrencies and blockchain, according to new statements from its governor. Lesetia Ganyago indicated that the South African Reserve Bank is exploring the technology and interested in innovations that may stem from its development. According to the Coindesk.com, governor said, as a central bank, we are open to innovations despite the different opinions of regulators on matters such as cryptocurrencies. We are willing to consider the merits and risks of blockchain technology and other distributed ledgers. Russia, the largest bank, plans to join blockchain consortium. Moscow government is going to explore blockchain voting, meeting on the state level for blockchain discussion. Russian central bank creates blockchain consortium for a comprehensive study of the technology and its possibilities. German Graf, head of Sberbank of Russia, said the largest bank in the country would participate in the consortium. That time, Moscow government revealed plans to investigate applications of the blockchain technology, according to the Kindesk.com. Deputy head of the Department of Information Technologies of Moscow, Andrei Belazorov, said that the agency is now exploring how to apply blockchain to various use cases, including voting fraud. The meeting dedicated to the discussion about blockchain technology was held in the administration of the president. Chairman of blockchain community Artem Talkachev noted that the lack of friendly legislative and regulatory approach of government agencies that oversee the financial sector in Russia deter market players. A big question is the legality of cryptocurrencies, currently the possibility to be protected from frauders on the juridical level. Stepta and Johnson law firm included multidisciplinary blockchain practice. According to the newsbtc.com, the chairman of Stepta and Johnson, Philip West, says by combining our firm's blockchain experience with seasoned lawyers across industry sectors, Stepto believes it can provide a unique set of services to a wide array of clients, helping them not only understand this technology, but also determine the feasibility of applying this technology in their businesses. Stepto and Johnson already has a good working relationship with the Bitcoin industry. The firm serves as an advisor to Coin Center and the Chamber of Digital Commerce. IBM multinational technology company is going to launch one of the largest blockchain implementations in the world. IBM is also behind one of the largest implementations of blockchain in the commercial sphere. According to the Cointelegraph.com, IBM Global Financing is expected to use a blockchain solution to address disputes in the financing arm of the company and free up tight capital, thus leading to more efficiencies.
coming up, world's first e-commerce platform, the of transactions, the cheapest point of sale system. After this short ads. Are you looking for lucrative investment opportunities? Try cryptocurrency cloud mining service Hashflare. You will get high returns on your investment and will be able to withdraw your money at any time. You can start investing from as little as $3 and it has never been easier to generate returns with Hashflare. Sign up today at hashflare.io. Canadian blockchain development team announced world's first blockchain-based e-commerce platform. The creators of Syscoin have announced the establishment of Blockchain Foundry, a company focused on the development of various merchant-focused platforms. According to the btcmanager.com, using the well-established infrastructure of Syscoin and its blockchain network, the Blockchain Foundry development team will soon launch Block Market, the world's first blockchain-based e-commerce platform, which will be immediately available on the Azure marketplace. Netherlands-based international money transfer service and Bitcoin debit cards provider Bitwala has revealed a number of new features to its platform. According to the FinanceMagnets.com, the company has added the Privacy Focus Dash and the Social Network Tokens team to its list of accepted altcoins. On the other front, Bitwala first released the Messenger web app, allowing users to send money over chat. Joe Kwong Minkwitz, CEO of Bitwala, commented. The chat messenger is definitely my favorite addition to the new and improved Bitwala. It's like what's up for money and I absolutely love it. German blockchain startup BlockPay bootstrapped with crypto-independent coin offerings investment. According to the BitcoinAgile.com, BlockPay is creating tools to super-change merchant sales, but that also recognizes that private transactions fundamentally have to form part of any credible business approach. This free blockchain point-of-sale system has been expanded by an immediate crowned fund that will push its digital currencies platform to new levels. Blockchain-based data management platform Factum has announced its partnership with Entrinio, an application and financial data provider. The duo plans on putting Wall Street on a fact and blockchain to provide immutable and transparent U.S. stock market data of the first time in history. As news that Bitcoin.com writes, both firms believe this will increase trader confidence by creating a more transparent playing field. In the future, 70% of the world's population will live in cities. Cities built for modern life. New speeds. New forms of communication. Energy efficient. Environmentally friendly. Self sufficient. New ideas with new cryptocurrency. Eating our coin cryptocurrency. Confidence in the future and happiness now. Crypto can be applied literally everywhere, even to the sunshine. Australians want to trade excess solar power and blockchain. The local Australian startup Power Ledger is in charge of the project in a retirement village in Busselton, Western Australia. Residents on Australia's west coast believe the blockchain cryptographically secure ledger could be combined with the power of the sun. According to the CryptoCoinsNews.com, simple Raspberry Pi mini computers will be used to track a house's energy usage. 
For now, Power Ledger hopes a trial run can give them insight into what works and what does not work. The company wants to deploy in Pros and Victoria in 2017. Anonymous Petrian FN is helping to solve Bitcoin's biggest problems. Cryptographer names himself after Harry Potter's Academy, Tom Elvis Jedusser, Voldemort's name in the French versions of the book, and posted paper named Mebelwebel. An anonymous cryptographer has put forth a proposal experts believe could help solve major issues facing the network. The paper Mebelwebel has real-world implications, outlining how cryptographic privacy and signature techniques could be combined to enable new benefits. According to TheCoinDesk.com, more serious conversation would follow, as Bitcoin developers have been more broadly searching for long-term scalability and anonymity solutions. It was the last reportage for today. Editorial office contacts are in the description below this video. Put the likes for news and daily digests, subscribe to our channel, keep abreast of the events. See you in a week.